Well, good evening, everyone. I am so glad that you guys are here today. I know, I know you came from uh, uh, many, many different destinations far and wide across the country. So we're going to take some time to immerse you in our brand. Vancouver is amazing, and we've got just some really good activities uh, planned for you tonight as well as tomorrow. So please <coughs> stay tuned. So first, let's talk about luxury. Luxury is really a market, a segment that uh, is growing, as Dave pointed out, really booming. This is where uh, the big players are. This is where the future is. And there's a lot of growth in luxury. Luxury in itself, however, is changing. So the old school luxury talked a lot about products, talked about the, 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 the thing, the product. And today, we realize that luxury is truly evolving. And so for us to be successful, we have to not only evolve with luxury, we have to be where luxury is going to be. And luxury will, will land there at the same time and we can really put a good product to market. Customers still care about the brand, right? They still care about the badge. But they really care a lot more about how the badge makes them feel, how the brand makes them feel. When we did our research, what we found is that more than anything else, customers want to feel respected. Luxury customers even more so than anybody else. And the number one way we can show respect is by respecting their time. Respecting their time, providing a complete experience for them, one that's curated, one that's personalized, uh, allowing them to socially engage and communicate on their terms the way they want to. It wasn't that long ago that blogging itself was unheard of. Today, it's very normal. This is what we do, and luxury buyers uh, blog as well. And, we, and luxury customers also want to make sure that everything we do is meaningful to them. That means it's personalized to them, so they get exactly what they need, what they want, when they want it. It's a balance between the product itself and the experience. Sure, there has to be some rational persuading. There has to be some substance behind the product. But more importantly, the experience, it brings them together. Customers really want to know not only what the product is, but what the product says about them, what the product helps them feel. So it's really a balance, we say, between the product itself and the experience. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Speaking of experience, time, again, precious, precious time. The one resource that's totally non-renewable. Once spent, it's gone. And so it is up to us to make sure that we use time wisely. And because we so respect our customers, we want to make sure that we give them back what I call unobtainium. We give them that time that they can't get uh, anywhere else. We respect their time. We recognize that every moment and every mile matters. So here's some proof that Time is really the ultimate luxury. Look at these apps. There are tens of thousands of apps available today to do nothing more than make your time worthwhile. Customers have apps like Soothe. You can use an app and have a certified professional massage therapist show up at your home, your office, wherever you'd like, on your terms, on your time, so you can get the massage that you need. There's Postmates. It's amazing. They will go anywhere and get anything and deliver it anywhere else. Whether it's dinner or that bottle of wine that you forgot at home. You go to a party and there's a bottle of wine you should have taken to the party and oh my god I forgot it. You can use Postmates and they'll get home and you can have your, in my case, my 22 year old son deliver the wine a bottle to the door assuming he hasn't already consumed it, <laughs> and they can bring that wine to the party. So this is just amazing saving duffel, packing uh, your clothes for you. This is what's, what's on people's mind, is they want to make sure that they can get what they want on their terms. So it's really a matter of balance. Balance between product and experiencing experiences, being able to share their experiences, sharing them with family and friends the way they want to, real time. 
Customers want to get out there, these luxury customers, they want to be able to share their experiences. I put this slide up here, Shinola, because I, I came in a day early so I can indulge a little bit in Vancouver. It is absolutely amazing. And there's a mall across the street, and so I went to Nordstrom. They had a, a two-day sale, and, and they say it's the, the only time they have a sale, so I had to go. And so I went into Nordstrom, and there's a Shinola uh, booth in Nordstrom. And what an amazing story. I absolutely fell in love with the product. But it wasn't so much the product, it was the experience. It was because this product is made in Detroit. It's made in a city that really was, not too long ago, the mecca of manufacturing. I live there. I live there during the downturn. So it meant something to me, connected with me. This Shinola means something, and that is very, very important. And so as a customer, myself, I feel connected to the story. The story of the brand, what the brand is about, why they're here. They're rebuilding something that was huge and creating something <coughs> big. And people want to be a part of it. So they want to be a part of the story. The brands need to stand for something meaningful. That's important. And our brand is no different. I'm sorry. Our brand is no different. It has to stand for something meaningful. So what are we going to do? We ask ourselves, what can a new luxury automotive brand own? What can we stand for? Well, we decided we are going to evolve luxury in a more enlightened and human-centric way. Humble, human-centric. It's about focusing on the people. It's not just the product, it's the people. We have to anticipate where the people are going to be, what they're going to want, and be able to deliver uh, that product to them. And so you'll see innovation not only with the physical product, but also with the interaction. And that's something that we can continue to build on every day. We come into work and ask ourselves what product and what services we can deliver to our customers that nobody else can. How can we do it better? How can we make every moment and every mile matter? This is where luxury is going to be. It reminds me of the, the book, The Great One, Wayne, Wayne Gretzky. Right? And he talked about not just being where the puck is, you have to be where the puck's going to be. And luxury is no different. Our job is to be where luxury is going to be. We can't come into the market and do what everybody else is doing. That's not a formula for leadership. And this is where we are. So when we talk about a meaningful and balanced luxury, internally we talk about it having a deep respect for our customers as well. This word respect really means a lot means that the customers really want to feel like not only their time is being spent well, but they're not wasting any. So they're not wasting time, but the time that they spend with us is also enriching, it's fulfilling, it's what they want. It's more meaningful. So how are we going to do that? That's a legitimate question that should be on your mind. It's with product and experience. When those two are in perfect harmony, we believe we'll deliver what the customers want. To enlighten and bring balance to our customers. And how are we going to do that? If you look at this series of concentric circles, it looks like a target. And the center of the target, the bullseye, is why. And by why in this case, we mean why do we get up every morning and come to work? What's that one thing that we feel that we get up in the morning and say, yes, We've got something. We've got something new. And that is how we're going to make the lives of our customers more balanced. How can we deliver something to our customers that gives them exactly what they need, not just the product. It's the interaction of the product and the services. And so, again, you can expect to see as much innovation <coughs> around the customer experience as you do around the physical product. Both are important, but tradition says the, the, the traditionalists say that we focus on the product and we're saying that we, we need to do that, but we need to focus on the experience uh, just as much. And so we start with the why and then go to how are we going to do that by producing these products and experiences. Those are, and, and the what is ultimately what you buy into. It's ultimately the product or the service. People don't just buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And that goes back to the Shinola story. And there are many other stories like that. 
I don't need a Shinola to tell me the time. Right? You, you buy into the brand. And this is what uh, we're doing with Genesis as well. So we want our customers to see and feel and understand that we exist to make their lives better, to make it more meaningful, to make it more balanced. And we come to work every day and say everything that we do, everything that we say, every process we touch <coughs> has to be focused on making our customers' lives better, touching them. Of course, at the heart of all of this, we are a luxury car company, and at the heart of what we do has to be product. Has to be great product. That's the price of entry. And we're not backing down from anybody with our product. We have fantastic product that's available now, being shipped to dealers as we speak. The G80 and the G90 will launch. Uh, here we'll, we're already shipping them from, from our, our home uh, in Korea, and we'll start shipping them uh, to dealers uh, within the next month or so. But great product. It's the foundation of what we have of what we're, what we're building and delivering, and new product. So we're not backing away from amazing product. Here's a G80, G90, soon we'll have a near luxury uh, sedan. That's the segment that the BMW 3 Series is in, the Mercedes uh, uh, Benz C-Class, the <coughs> Audi A4. We'll have a couple CUVs, uh, near luxury and uh, mid luxury, and then uh, a sports coupe uh, coming out towards the end of the, that product pipeline. We've got product, we're working on product, we have fantastic uh, designs, we're working on style, just really futuristic, looking at where we are, what's new, what's different, take away all of the boundaries, what do we have to do? And that's, that's where we are, making them emotional. It's not just practical, people have to fall in love with the stuff. And that's where it takes uh, a great, great effort. Dedicated platforms and powertrains. Our products will all have dedicated platforms. So our platforms aren't shared with anybody else. We have uh, great new engines. You'll get to experience uh, the 3.3 turbo, twin turbo engine tomorrow. 365 horsepower, 376 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Just pound feet, just great, great product. Now, all front engine, rear wheel drive, fundamental platform all-wheel drive uh, capability. So we're really going after the core of the market. Structural rigidity because we believe we have a competitive advantage with high steel strength. We're, we're high strength is steel. We are really putting our money where our mouth is in terms of product. Great stuff. Safety. We ask ourselves, do some of our customers deserve more safety than others? And the answer is no. All G80 customers deserve all of the safety, the, the standard safety equipment. And so we standardize uh, much of our safety. You've all will talk to you a little bit later about that, where you'll see we have more standard safety options than any other manufacturer available. That's what matters. It matters most to the driver. It matters most to the passengers. And we even think about safety of the people who are outside of our product in terms of pedestrian detection. We think that that's a key differentiator and we're absolutely putting our money where our mouth is. What about the experience? So some of the things that we'll first introduce to the market, uh, we've got uh, three years complimentary maintenance with every new Genesis. Not only three years complimentary maintenance, but three years of valet service. So if you never want to go back into your dealership for service, you never need to. The dealers will come to you, pick up your car, drop off a loaner, take your car in, get it serviced. When it's done, get back to you wherever you are at that point in time, or wherever you want them to be. Get your car back to you and back. So you get all of that time that you would have spent driving to the dealership, waiting in the service lounge, no matter how nice it is, I've got better places that I, that, that I want, want to be, and I think we think most customers do as well. In addition to that, we also have uh, serious traffic uh, and, 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 and data available three years. We'll make that complimentary with uh, map care, never needing to update your maps in your car to pay for updates. So for three years, we have updates. 
and then roadside assistance with concierge, enhanced roadside assistance available, along with our Genesis connected <coughs> services, connected car. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of providing this curated, personalized service. The bottom line is, we have great resources available, but we have tremendous creative latitude, and this is an area that we're really focusing on in the future. So you will hear more and more as we build out our suite of services for our customers. We will maintain, we'll have our industry leading 10-year, uh, 100 mile, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. That we think is a competitive advantage. It is the absolute best in luxury and we are convinced of the quality of our product and so we're going to continue to we'll deliver that. But most important, this is a huge deal. What we're doing here is huge, and there's nobody more excited about it than me. This is amazing. When you look at this histogram back in 1970, Audi launched. And then it was almost 15 years before Acura, a few years later, Lexus and Infiniti, Tesla, and 11 years, 12 years later, Genesis. We're only the second luxury brand launched in this century. This doesn't happen every day. And we understand the significance of it, and the bottom line is, we are here, we're here in a big way, we're here to stay, we know what it's gonna take, and we are prepared, we're excited about delivering that. You guys have probably heard about our world-class leadership team uh, in Korea, Peter Schreier, Manfred, Luke, <coughs> Albert, Sangyup. These guys are the best in the world. We went out and we got them with experience with Bentley, Lamborghini, Audi, Sanyup worked on the, the Corvette, uh, 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 Camaro. These guys have it together and they are leading the brand, they're leading design, they're leading engineering, performance. We absolutely mean business on the global scale. And locally, my own uh, team, I joined the team uh, May 1st officially, and immediately secured uh, James Stewart. Uh, James leading our sales organization. Michael Dietz, everything after sales. After the customers purchase the vehicle, Michael owns all of the suite of services, all of the interaction with all of our customers. Connie, Connie uh, leads our Genesis Finance, our captive finance team. Ricky Lau, product planning. You'll get to meet Yuval Steinman uh, later tonight. Yuval is product strategy. And uh, the latest member of our team, Kate Fabian, I think she's been with us six weeks? Two months? Uh, Kate came to us uh, from Australia. So we're going to wherever we need to go to find the best people. And these are just uh, my uh, leadership team who report up through me here uh, locally in the United States. And we're just so excited to have this team here.